Today in this video, we will discuss how to use the complex data set with the spec flow. We'll also look at how do we use the variety of data with the same test case. So if you look at my example, what I have right now in my project, which I've demonstrated or created in the last demonstration. Here is the calculator feature, which is performing the calculation on two different numbers such as the add operations, subtract operation and divide operation. Now here in these examples, we have seen that we are trying to pass two different numbers and we are trying to perform the calculation on those two numbers. But what if I would like to perform the operations on the variety of different set of numbers and check whether the results are okay or not so one of the ways let's say you can duplicate the scenarios for example this is my ad scenario so i would like to create another ad scenario which will be on the different data but in that case you have to duplicate the scenario which is not the preferred option to go ahead with the preferred option in that case is to use the example keyword so for example, so let's say if I just press control space, then that will give me the list of keyword which I can use with this spec flow framework. And this is one of the keyword which is example. So I can give the list of options or the parameters which I may want to use within my test scenario. I'll give you the test scenario for the multiplied case. So let's say this is my test scenario for multiply where I'm trying to multiply two different number with a given and here in this case whichever is your variable which you would like to pass with the multiple data you can pass this as in within this angular brackets and then create those variable as in table with the example keyword for example in this case given I have first number which is variable and the second number which is again a variable when we add or when we when the two numbers are multiplied in this case then the result should be the expected output which is again a variable and what those values of those variable are defined with the example keywords so remember that example followed by the colon and then you have to provide the values of those number if you do so then all your data different data for example in the first case it's going to 5 multiplied by 15 result is going to 75 similarly 20 multiplied by 5 100 and so and so on you can have a variety of data now if i go back to the test calculator or the test scenario and if i expand that you can you would see that for the multiplied case i would have the three different sub test cases are generated see you can see that multiply two number which is the name of my test scenario which you can find it here and underneath you have these parameterized subset of the test cases which are defined or generated based on the number of record which i have defined for my example set so this is one way to pass the parameters or perform the test execution for the variety of the data which you may want to have now coming back to the second point wherein how do you generate or how do you use the complex data with your BDD test framework or the spec flow test framework that is what we are going to look at so if you look at the current scenario wherein we are passing the number as in primitive type such as the data type as in uh, integer or double value which we have provided sometime we are providing the value as in text which is again a string primitive type but in the real life services you may often have the requirement to pass a complex data object for example let's take an example i would like to create a customer in my project or the database and i want to test that customer create functionality the customer data type or the class looks like this it has three different properties about the customer and customer also has the address 
class which you may want to insert. Now, how do you test these scenarios to add customer in your database using the Specflow BDD? To use the complex object like this, you can use the table syntax or the table keyword which may look like this. So here is my scenario. Built a customer. Given the customer has the details like salutations, first name, last name, and the detail about the customer or the data about the customers like Miss Liz Lemon. Similarly, and which is again a part of the given condition, the address is line one, city, state, and zip codes are followed by this. If I pass the complex object data with this tilde operate uh, this pipe character then this becomes the entire table which i can define as an input to my behavior driven framework now if i go to the definition of these scenarios this is how it looks like the spec flow automatically generates that complex data which is decorated with the pipe characters in a tabular format with a table object as you can see that instead of the simple table a simple primitive type like integer double or string i am getting a table type object here which i can use similarly for address i am getting a table type object now how do you use this table type object the first thing what you can do is you can use the table object with table dot and then there are a number of methods available which you can use for example I can add new record to the table or if I would like to get the value then I can get the value with create instance that's the method and then you can provide the data type which you would like to use to create an instance so in this case I have a model which is already been referenced here in this particular project and model is where, where I've created this customer object so I can simply create an instance of this table which will convert the object into a customer type then I can get the data as an value which I've created this is what I'm giving so that will create the that will convert the table type into a customer type object right I, now if I simply debug this that will show you how the customer data will look like which we have provided here in this particular customer object let me debug the option debug the test case the breakpoint is here now if i just evaluate the object which we have in the value we can see that the values we have received in the in form of the customer object right similarly you can write the same code for the address and that will give you the list of address what you have but what about if we have multiple customers which you may want to insert or update in your scenario how it will work with the same method will it work in this case let's look at that the breakpoint is almost there if i press f10 i do not have anything this time in the customer object the reason for that is the table contains the collection of record whereas we are trying to create an instance out of the table with a single customer object and that's the reason it's not able to create that you can see that it has got two rows whereas we are trying to create it is in the single object and that is where the difficulties is so what do you do in this case instead of using the create instance table create instance method you should use the create set method so that's the method we should be using now if i run this code again or by setting the next statement that should properly convert the value what we are looking for as you can see that as soon as i change the method it has changed the return type to enumerable customer instead of the customer type right let's put it press the f10 again uh, let's look at the value now if you look at the value this time it shows the two record count as in two and if we just open that we have got the table with two rows and table has got it has got two customer detail 
customer dot salutation customer dot first name customer dot last name well this is how you can use the table with the set data now the last thing uh, which is interesting here is if you look at the name of the field what we have in the customer table customer dot salutation first name and last name right now if i check this customer table record what we have this is the first name last name is and salutation whereas the table which i have defined here does not have any it has got basically a spaces in between first and name and last and name right so how it is matching because in this case it is intelligent enough to basically make that adjustment by removing the spaces and mapping the table to the actual result set but in such case in the case where you do not have the exact match let's say i would say l name for example okay lst name maybe i'll say in that case even though after removing the space it will not work so let me just compare it again this time it has got two values but this time the last name value or the column with the last name contains no values the reason for that is the object which it is trying to convert into the table is converting into a customer object it's not mapping or not matching the exact field name what it has because now we have given the name as an lst name instead of last name now if you have such co columns which are not matching the exact name due to the casing what we have let's say you might have a casing like first name which is not going to be the case and we also have some spelling changes because your database might have something like this for example okay so in such cases what you should do is you can use your customer or your model object with the table instances so this is how you can use the model object with the table instances i can say first name that is aligned to what i have defined it here and this should work so the idea here is just use the table alias attribute which is the attribute comes from the tech talk spec flow nuget package which you can define according to the data which you are passing and you can pass and number of alias if you would like to for example i can say uh, this could have f name let's say that will also work things like that basically you can also put a regular expression if you would like to let me just tip up that as it is matching the alias names now we have got the values back into the last name fields so this is how you can use the alias if you would like to run your test cases according to the data which you are providing it here so this is the two example which we have seen we have uh, learned how to use the example with multiple data set to run on your test cases secondly we have seen how to use the complex data object with your spec flow test scenarios how do you use the methods like creating instance also of a particular data object and also creating an instance of collection of data which you would like to use for within your table right it apart from this table class itself has got number of other methods for example you can use the row method row count or the rows which where you can see row zero dot and then uh, you can use the values uh, which you may want to have let's say first name so feel free to explore the table object and its methods. It's really helpful to perform your test execution on the spec flow. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.